Good evening, I'm Mark Blaine. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. First, a heads up, the California Independent Systems Operator has issued a flex alert until 9 tonight. The ISO says our high temperatures are putting added stress on the power grid and is asking people to keep their ACs at 78 degrees or higher, turn off all unnecessary appliances, and adjust blinds and drapes to cover windows in order to conserve energy. In other news, a deadly shooting overnight in Lost Hills. KCSO says deputies were notified about the shooting at around 11 last night on Lamberson Avenue in Lost Hills. Officials say one person is dead and another injured. There is no word on the extent of those injuries or the condition of that victim. Homicide detectives were called in to investigate. We have no suspect information at this time. And today, the final day of August, is International Overdose Awareness Day. The goal is to reduce drug overdose deaths and fight the stigma associated with overdoses. Also raise awareness and educate people about overdose prevention. Symptoms of an overdose include convulsions, vomiting, confusion, and skin that is cool and sweaty or hot and dry. Adventist Health held a community gathering Tuesday morning featuring various speakers and sharing how the hospital network is working with all local agencies to address the issue. Still tracking hot weather, but we are going to be getting hotter soon. We're only at 98 right now, but I do expect we break into the triple digits here this afternoon, and then there's no question from there. We've got a lot of heat to talk about. 104 tomorrow, and then our heat really taking off. 107 to as high as 108 by Labor Day. A very hot Labor Day weekend for us. Overnight lows hovering around about 80 degrees, so really no relief even at night. A very long stretch of very hot weather heading our way. Mountain communities here, we still have that small chance for that isolated shower or thunderstorms. We had it to Sunday and Monday, but of course the heat, the big story, peaking about 108 for Lake Isabella, upper 90s for Tehachapi and Fraser Park. Brandon, thank you very much. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest updates anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com.